Welcome back to the Cobra Trading Channel. Today we have a very special guest. It's professional trader J Trader who will be sharing with you a software in detail and how this software can actually give you an edge in your trading. And if you already have edge, it will help you improve the edge in your trading and find it much faster. Jay, take it away. Having an edge in trading, what it looks like. Today we're gonna to talk about edge to trade. You're gonna simply change your mind after seeing this video and how we use this software in order to help you to achieve your edge. Hi, I'm Jay Trader, mentor and professional trader. Thank you, Cobra, for having me for your special guest series. We realized this tool, as to trade for day traders to give them an edge. I work with uh, the team to realize this tool and we want both to help uh, small cap traders, mid cap traders, and also large cap traders. This is how I like to use it. Uh, first of all, we have over here our first scanner. It's very simple as the scanner that I use and we only focus on large caps, gaps above 5%. I just need to have over here volume. I wanna look at the short flow percentage and also the SSR. We can change filters. I simply have to go over here. You can see these are the values that I put, but then also we can add more filters and we can select them over and over and over. Some are preset, but I can select and filter uh, according to my style or what I'm looking for. The second scanner that I have is to look for big caps breakouts. So if I select, for example, LBPH, I'm gonna look over here for stocks that are breaking out and I can change also my chart, add indicators. And I like to have this uh, price between one and 1K, market cap above 800 million. So we're staying with the limit of small cap, mid cap, and then going to the large cap. Share group, common stock, change percentage, at least 1% volume. I wanna see a little bit of liquidity. This is a minimum 100K, but I will suggest to stay for at least 1 million and positioning range uh, three day percent is above 30 percent so when i see a stock this is starting to extend it's starting to create a daily breakout and as we know when we have a daily breakout we need to have that surplus in volume and then we're going to look for a follow-through and every single morning i run my scanner so i start researching which of these big caps or mid caps uh, gave a decent breakout and then i'm looking for patterns to enter for example a retest of that breakout, a dip and long. I can also have a watch list. So here, these are my usual stocks that I look every single morning, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, etc., etc. So every single morning, I know that I will look at these, especially I'm a big fan and a trader of Tesla, Amazon, and also Nvidia. So I will check these every single morning. I will apply over here a template that I, that I like, for example, I can have a very simple template like the, the five minutes that I use with only a 5MA, 9MA and a VWAP and I want to look at the trend. Below we have instead the small cap part. I like to have it in two ways, small cap gainers and also halts. Halts because during the day I'm interested in those stocks that are starting to extend and they halt so they can give me a good play intraday. Uh, we can see also over here, uh, we had rally yesterday. Uh, for example, we have CVLI, we have FSNCB and more. And uh, I will always run this in this way. So common stock, and then you have the filter over here to select. Is there a how? Yes. Of course, you can add more filters. For example, SSR, none of load. So you're looking for those big runners, uh, then select nano flow, select SSR, select high volume. When we're talking about nano flow, anything below one million float. And then I have over here a small cap gainer, uh, I would say default over here scanner. I am just looking for the biggest gappers every single day. And I have different filters for these. So I look for stocks below 25 bucks, uh, Pre-market volume at least 200K. I need a little bit of liquidity. And 200K is the minimum because I start already trading them in pre-market, both long and short with my team. 
market cap below 800 million, share group common stock, volume then, if we're trading during the day, above 400K. But you can see also that here on the left, I have different scanners. So I can have a scanner for the five minute trigger, uh, I can have a scanner for the pre-market uh, scan and others. I can research, for example, stocks that have high institutional uh, or an flow stock with SSR and uh, multiple flow rotation and a high volume. So stocks that tend, uh, they will tend to run more. And then I have over here on my left side, the history and the stats. So this is the part of history. For example, yesterday we're looking at uh, uh, runner. This was a uh, ASNS. Uh, we had over here a move from $1.60 until $270. So as soon as this goes uh, 10, 20 percent, uh, according to what I have selected over here, I can have right away the history of the stock, and I can see over here that the stock with those parameters had four over here gaps. Uh, three times it closed red on day one and one time closed green. So this has a history of closing red. Another important parameter that I look is when it comes the average high of the day. So we know that these stocks tend to have the high of the day average around 11 o'clock and the average low of the day around 12 o'clock. So we know that at the gate has a potential push. And then I want to look what happened those days. So I can simply go on the history, just clicking over here, stats. I select, for example, the last gapper, and I look how this performed. For example, this was a gap that faded from the morning with the gap and crap. Uh, we go over here on the previous gap, and again, we had the stock that faded and then uh, extended mid-morning. Another gap over here, and we had a stock that simply faded and then uh, pop in mid morning. So you can see how the stock behaved. And then I'm looking for uh, stats. In this case, I'm looking at the float, short flow percentage, institutional, if we have SSR. And also I'm looking at the current ratio, EPS row. So we can also see a little bit about the company. And then on the left, the part of the news. I can do this every single time I click on a stock or even select over here and match uh, one uh, over here template with the history. For example, I want to put blue over here, blue, so only these two will match. I can look at financials. So if I go over here and click on the left, uh, balance sheet, income statement, cash flow, I can have charts. And I can look also the filings and then is insiders. But the part that I'm really more interested in showing you is the history. What I like in trading is the part that it's probabilistic. And in order to have an edge, we need data. For example, over here, I have, um, I ran a history of tracking and we can see that the stock that I selected had a 71, 70% 70 0.59 that faded on day one. So they closed red below the open on day one and around 29 30 percent that close a green so we have already three fourth of our gappers because i was selecting gappers on day one that faded i also shared on uh, social especially on twitter uh some research that i did on stats even showing some tracks where they gave more than 80 percent fade on day one so go check those tweets in my book map on uh, twitter jtraderco and then I can start looking, all right, these stocks by average, how much do they extend? How much do they fail? So they extend for about 42% average. So some will be 20%, some will be 60%, some 40. Average low, so they tend to fail around 24%. The average high of day, it's in the first hour. So generally we'll have an extension the first hour for then fading midday. So when the volatility and the liquidity gets lower, all right, so especially during lunchtime, the liquidity gets lower and we have these fields. Uh, we can also run different type of um, uh, scans. You can see over here, we ha can have uh, many. So uh, I want to look for a pattern, Jalen Kerr, Gap and Crap, Stock with Halts, Into Day Movers. And I can simply decide myself 
which parameters to put. For example, I want to look for overextended plays. Okay, we can look for extended plays like three day up and then on the last day extension. And then let's look, for example, which stock faded the most. I can run, for example, stock that um, have SSR, high volume, and a nano float and see what they did. And I can run this for not only the last year, 2024, but 2020, 19, and so on. So the point of this is to give to the retail traders tools that will help them to have more conviction in trading because it's always about having an edge. So knowing what works and only through data, through a systematic process, you're going to be able to do this. There's more content. So if you need more help, reach out. I'm Jay Trader. Thank you again, Cobra, for having me over here and good luck for your trading. Thank you, Jay Trader, for giving us that insight. If you like this type of content and want to find more, don't worry. We have more on the way. Make sure to hit subscribe.